I think there's there's major revelation in the fact that as we stand up, say, let's go three, two, one, everybody stand up, turn around and see what's what's coming up from behind. It's not that they're behind us, it's they're with us. Thank you, Bucky. Um, I see them and they're, they're in formation too. You mean like in a V? Yes. Okay. If you guys look in the chat box, um, that's the uh, scripture that Bucky was referring to. Ephesians 4.4, 4. there is one body and one spirit, even as also you were called in one hope of your calling. Um, I don't know how many eagles are back there. Um, probably more than I have counted lately. <laughs> um, I perceive that they all are coming with different talents or um, strengths. They all have something to offer. It's not exactly the same as what we're there for or what we're bringing. What do we bring in? Do you know? No. Okay. I just want to make sure I didn't miss it. Were you going to say something, Bucky? Yeah, I said it's giftings. They're, they come with different gifts. I think uh, I feel like there's a kind of a move of the Lord moving into uh, gift the giftings once again. Okay. For us in particular or something else? Like for the, the I think it's more for body corporate. Okay. You know, um as I look back, um I am also seeing young young eagles. I, I didn't see that before, but I am seeing younger eagles. I would call them like adolescent. <laughs> teenager, teenager eagles. I'm getting the word revelator. Revelator. Yeah, I don't know if that resonates with anybody it's just been highlighted yeah it it you know it the word kind of caused me to <clears throat> quicken um and i i think uh, i feel as though it had it it kind of for me it felt um kind of the same when I felt like we were, I was seeing clearer all of a sudden. To me, to me, that speaks of um, growing in the, you know, in a revelation gift, sort of understanding a little bit more. So. Yeah, I think I think the revelator is actually who's who's on the lead bird. Uh, that'd be, I think it's John the Revelator, John, you know, ah. he's, he's the one that stood and, and on the Lord's day and turned and perceived heaven. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Bucky. Would you w welcome John for us? Get my microphone on, yeah. So, <laughs> John, we welcome you. Thank you for coming and joining us for leading us where you are taking us. And we just want to welcome you tonight and just ask you anything that you might have for us that you would just pour out abundantly to us. Thank you.
John the Beloved, we adore you. Okay, the, um, I, I heard the Lord say to me, check out Revelation 4.4. 4. So I'm just going to read it to you, but I felt like the Lord gave this to me. Around the throne were 24 thrones, and upon the thrones I saw 24 elders sitting clothed in white garments and golden crowns on their heads. I love that. Thank you, Father. And if that if that scripture sparks anything for anybody, please please share it. Yeah, you know what? I do feel as though John is um, uh, driving, <laughs> for lack of a better word, but he's uh, guiding us somewhere with the eagle. And I, I do see a company of eagles behind us. Okay, <clears throat> the Lord gave me Luke 17. Okay. And um, I didn't get a verse to go with it. Okay. So. You want to um, read it? Well, here, here's the funny part. Okay. I'm, I didn't get a verse to go with it. So I'm, you know, looking over, the, I'm having to look over the whole chapter. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm looking, I'm skimming the whole chapter and it's literally the last verse. <laughs> of course. Um, but I'm going to back up a verse or two just to give it some, you know, but just remember, I kind of really got this last verse, but I'm going to back up a verse or two. Okay. So I'm going to read Luke 17, 34 through 37. Okay. I tell you in that night, there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, Thither will the eagles be gathered together. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not saying that I know what it means. I'm just give I'm just giving you just I'm just reporting. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That same scripture came up earlier this week in another ascension. It did? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Uh -huh. The same exact wow. one. Whoa. And I'm getting, I got, um, let's see, is it, let me check here, um, Corinthians, Corinthians on that, when he's talking about the gifts, yep. uh, Corinthians 12, first Corinthians 12, 12, but it really starts at, uh, let me see. Thank yeah, you, really. For as the, as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. For why, by one spirit are all we all baptized unto one body, 
but it right before that's where it's talking about the giftings the giftings to to one for one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gift of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy and then it goes then it goes down to the uh verse 12 but but all these in verse 11 but all these worketh that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will for as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is Christ wow thank you the lord is really really speaking to us about you know unity with all of us and uh that oneness the oneness thank you yes in yeah. such a big way wow joel um as we spoke uh earlier when um i think it was bucky that saw the other eagles first yeah um now that everybody is confirming it it's like if the other eagles represent other groups that is sin. That's just how I saw it at that stage, that every eagle is like almost a group that yes. is sin, and God is pulling them together yes. um, into a destiny to do something specific in the heavens or something like that. That's just the picture I got. Yeah, no, that's good. Yes, I agree. I agree. In a big way. We are coming together and we cannot go where he needs us to go, separated or not unified. Yeah, it may have something to do with, I was thinking about what Jamie said about seeing the smoke and the uh, dark clouds. Um, because when I saw the eagle, like the spotlights in the darkness, the wow. eyes you know, shining in the darkness. Yeah. I wonder, did you, do you still see that smoke and burning, Jamie? We wrote it down so we can we can go back. Yeah, uh, smoke, fire, desolation, and yes, I continued to see it. Yeah, because I see darkness. We're casting the light on all that. And I, I the, another thing that um, that is I feel it's being highlighted to me is the fire in their eyes. I feel like the Lord is trying to say something about that. Whatever. Okay. It is. I'm sorry. Did I interrupt? No. Uh -uh. I need to turn my volume up. So okay, this is the second time I've had these lyrics come into my head. Okay. Um, it's a Steve Mitchell song. Um, it goes, the eyes of the Lord, they are constantly searching. They are looking for something. What are they looking for? They are searching for hearts of love's, of love's fiery passion. Not a love that's of this world, but a love that comes from above. Wow. I may have the song. Um, can you, could you share the lyrics with us, maybe? Do you feel like uh, maybe we should all say that together or no? Let me see it again. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh. 
I was hoping to find him <laughs> on the, you know. Okay, all right. Hey, uh, while we're kind of hovering here for a second, yeah. Uh, um, I was looked up light shining in Strong's, and um, I got a couple of references that's kind of interesting. Thought I might share them. Uh, uh, second, second. Uh, did, did you say you were looking up uh, shining light? Or yeah, light shining. Okay. Light. Like a light shining in the darkness yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, anyway, so uh, Second Samuel twenty three four, and he shall be a light, be as the light of the morning, when the sun rises, even even the morning without clouds, and the tender grass springs out of the earth by clear shining after rain. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Proverbs 4.18, but the path of the just is the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Uh, Habakkuk 3.11, the sun and the moon stood still in their habitation at the light of thine arrows. They went at the shining of thy glitter, glittering spear. Luke 11.36 is... The whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark. The whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of the candle doth give thee light. Wow. And there's one more in John that I read. He was a burning. <laughs> What's the <what's> number? <laughs> uh, sorry, John 5, 35. Okay. Uh, he, he was a burning and a shining light and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light wow i love those wow pretty cool stuff yeah cool stuff did you find the the things miss jennifer It's okay if you if you can't find it. Yes, and I I put them down on there, and I I oh I sent them to Am. I'm sorry, I found it on YouTube. I I found it on YouTube. Let me copy paste. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I found the song on YouTube, but I didn't find um. Let's see, I didn't find uh. They may not be, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Okay, thank you. You guys, as you read that, um, do you feel we need just to speak that out? I feel as though um, we are part of the Eagles as well. Um, I feel like I'm in three dimensions at the same place. I what do you guys think? If you don't think it's necessary, just say. Let's just read it. 
Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's unmute. Oh shoot! Can I say something? Of course. Um, John, the Revelator is strongly associated with the eagle. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. I didn't realize that. He was I a prophetic need, visionary. Yes, can, he was. You're right. Can, can you expound on that some, Ann? No. No, I'm just... He I'm was just, a... Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, he, he, he was a prophetic visionary. He was a seeker. Yeah. And yeah. Eagle is you know, prophet, prophetic, it means other things, but right. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So um, if if you wouldn't mind, if uh, you could go ahead and look at those words. Uh, and I'll read uh, you know, a few words off, and then if you could repeat after me, <coughs> so we could say it together. But I do see us um, with this company of eagles uh, behind us, around us. I see John, uh, like riding the um, the eagle. Um, I also feel like we are part of John doing that and at the same time on the inside of uh, the eagle's eyes looking out <clears throat> and I see, I see the light that those lights sh from the eyes shining down so with that um, backdrop um, just repeat after me the eyes of the Lord the eyes, the eyes, eyes of, of the Lord of the Lord they are constantly searching. They are constantly searching. They are looking for something. They are, they looking, are looking for something. something. What are they looking for? What are they, what are they, are they looking, looking for? They are looking for hearts of love's fiery passion. They are looking, are looking for hearts of love's, love's, love's fiery passion. passion. Not a love that's of this world, not, not, a, not a love of this, of this world. world, but it comes from above. But it, but it, it comes, comes from, from above. above. Awesome, thank you guys. Um, Jill, I also got, um, I'm sorry, I couldn't, I can't remember who said it. Um, that said the eagle uh, that john and the eagle are connected um in this vision of ours i just um got the um scripture luke 12 2 uh there is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not uh, be made, no made known um I, I just feel like that um, we are going to, I don't know, it's part of the revelation or the revelating that's happening. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Okay, this is um as she was saying that I was getting a um a verse in John six. Um hold on, let me get my, my real Bible. I don't want to use my phone. Uh, it talks about it's when Jesus is talking about all the Father has given me, um, I will raise it up at the last um, at the last day, that verse.
Um, and this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I shall lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. That's uh, verse uh, 639. Um, yes, and I'm seeing that I looked something up too, and it says the eagle represents the sky, the heavens, and the human spirit, parallel paralleling the divine nature of Christ. I'm really feeling like the eagles are starting to come to, starting to land. Bucky, can you, can you tell where they are, where they're landing? No, not really. I, was, I just feel like I'm watching one of them. You know, he's kind of got his wings out and his feet down like he's he's uh, about to <laughs> land. Has his wheels down, huh? Yeah, he has his wheels down and <laughs> got his uh, rudders turned down. Did you guys hear what I said about the unity in the one body? Or was was I... My microphone muted. I think you were muted there, Joe. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let me see if I can say it again. Um, I was thinking about unity and how uh, we, as, a, as the body of Christ and one have the, having the mind of Christ, that if, if our heart is for unity towards one another, the fact that we just spoke this out, that others in the body would be partaking in that declaration as well, because we're all one. We're in him, he's in us. 
That goes with everybody. Everybody. Does that make sense to you guys? I feel like the father is really, I mean, that's where we're going to end up. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Yeah. But we can see it, how it does. Goes. It totally does make sense. And, yeah. um, you know, we heard these words for, you know, for years, but it, it's, it's, it's an aha moment. Like, Oh, I, I thought I knew what oneness was is, but it's this, it's this other revel. It's this bigger revelation of it. Yes. It just keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper. And there's, Amen. yeah, there's more, there's more than this too. You know, this is just the beginning of the revelation. Okay, Bucky, can you see where we're landing yet? Or can anybody see maybe where we're landing? No, I'm not. Sorry, Bucky. No, oh, you're fine. Go ahead. No, I just um, had a sense of being on a cliff, kind of, because we're still looking down. Yeah. But yeah, so it's it's like on a cliff or something. Um, I'm not sure if the other eagles are with us, but yeah, I just have a sense of still looking down. But maybe we're on a cliff or a high place or yeah, like a crag. Rock yeah, crag. Yeah. Okay. You guys, I'm going to step away for one or two minutes. If you guys want to take a quick break, let's do it. Okay. When you guys get back, maybe put a one in the chat box so I know we're all here. I should have said that before I left.
Jill? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I tell you what's so funny. Before I got on this call, I started doing my laundry. Yeah. And I looked and I have this eagle. I have this eagle shirt I bought last year. Now this eagle shirt is so cool because it doesn't have a flag on it and it don't have a wolf. So <laughs> it was very a rare thing to get it, the eagle by itself. And I said, you know what? I feel like I'm in eagle mode. I think I'm gonna wear my shirt tomorrow. <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> Whoa. I said, well. And this call is definitely confirmation. It is a definite confirmation. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let me see. Cat dropped off. Who did? Cat. Oh, cat. Okay, well, let's wait for her for just a minute. Sometimes that happens. Wow, so the confirmation, the Eagle t shirt, holy smokes. <laughs> I can't get over that. And the message here is really ruling and reigning all four corners of the creation with unity. I'm going to make myself a note here to um, really take a good look at the Hebrew word for unity and see also possibly which Hebrew letter is specific to that word as well. All the what word? Unity. Uh, oneness. <laughs> Eagles come together from all four corners of creation to form one humongous eagle. Since we landed, I'm seeing uh, a man and what I'm sensing by a man meaning one new man, and he's like kneeling. He's got he's got armor on, like a I'm not gonna say I j just as an example, like a centurion would wear, you know, the kind of leather with the metal straps kind of on it. To yes, that that type of armor. Uh -huh. um, then um, he's he's kneeling on one knee. And uh, uh, he just raises his head up like, uh, you know, like he's looking in which direction he's about to go. And uh, but he, he's he's bigger than than like a human. But he's not like a giant, if if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Do you feel like it's a representation of the body or that it may be? I, I think it's more of a representation of one new man. That's all okay. I can say. Okay. How about you, Doreen? Do you have anything you'd like to share with us? You have um, good insights. Yeah. Um, can, can you hear me? I can. Yes. It's perfect. Uh, okay. Because I'm, I'm out of the screen. Um, yeah. I You didn't, you, you don't, didn't have my undivided attention tonight. That's why I was so quiet. But, um, <laughs> but um, the, the, the Hebrew word for unity is ikad. Oh, the my goodness. Oneness. Yeah. And I'm, um, wow. yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. So that maybe fits in with what um, 
the person just said they were seeing something look like one new man. Yes. Yeah, so he caught Father, Son, and Holy Spirit together as one, as one total being. So, so that's the um, behavior meaning for unity. Wow. Thank okay. you so much. I'm so glad you shared that. And you know, okay. what, you know what else I heard? When you said Father, Son, Holy Spirit, plus us is four. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's good. So we're kind of taking a look there at um, the one, the one new man kneeling, and um, you guys just share what what you're getting from that, or if you see something different, that's fine. He has uh, dark curly hair. He's kind of short. <laughs> he has sandals laced up, you know, like like. Uh, I call them Roman sandals, you know, like they're laced up his leg and yeah. Anyway, that's all I'm seeing so far. Oh, okay. I, you know, when you were speaking, I heard, I heard the the uh, name David. That just sort of reminded me of David. I have no idea what he what he wore in his time, but well, David had red hair though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Scripture defines him as Rudy. Yeah, you're right. How about you, Jamie? Are you there? Yeah. There I'm you are. There. I didn't see your picture. Oh, but I do now. <laughs> yeah, um, I no, I don't have anything. Okay. Don't be shy, guys. I think something else is going to come into this picture, or you know, something else is going to happen. I, I feel like there's more more going on with this dark haired curly guy. Um, Jill, I just have um, a sense that um, when you said uh, Son, Holy Spirit, uh, God, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit and us makes four. Yeah. I just saw the four faces of God and we already have the eagle and now we have the man. Oh my God. So I'm thinking we're waiting for the, the ox and the lion. So wow, that's the sense that I'm getting. Yeah, so that's, that's the second time that was brought up too in this ascension. So yeah, yeah I, I agree. We become what he become what he is. Every day we get closer. Every day, every moment. You know, um, you guys, can we can we take communion? I feel like now's the time. And uh, Jamie, would you would you do the honors? Because we were becoming more like him every moment, every second. Yes. Thank you. Father, we are so grateful for where you have brought us to thus far. We are so grateful that you are leading us to become more like you. 
Jesus, we are thankful that you were willing to go to the cross and take care of everything that needed to be taken care of for us. There's nothing left for you to do for us that hasn't already been done. You told us as often as we like to in, enjoy <laughs> the communion and remembrance of you. And we celebrate that today yes. with the bread and with the wine. And we raise the bread and we raise the wine and we partake the bread and the wine. Your body and your blood, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Jamie. So tell me, guys, um, what picture are you getting? Are we still watching the one new man kneeling? Jill, um, I did, uh, as we took um, communion, Yeah. I um, really felt that we um, God uh, bonded in unity yes. through the communion and it was almost like we all stepped together and melt into each other um, yes. and as that picture formed in my head I just saw the lion roaring like victory kind of thing uh -huh. um, it's like it, it happened in my ear but I saw that big mouth open, just really, <laughs> it's really great. It was overwhelming. Wow. And uh, I was thinking too, you know, we had taken communion like you and I felt an incredible oneness. And yeah. just, just for a moment, until my flesh got in the way, but just for a split second, I had this moment of clarity of where if we all have that perfect mind of Christ, my God, what the things we could do, the things we could change, the healing of all creation, the, it was I mean, it was like it was a reality to me for just a brief second. And it was about the oneness and the unity. That's amazing. So take those as seeds. Those are seeds. I'm playing that unity. <laughs> What's that? Unity goes back to um, John chapter 17, doesn't it? I may have the scripture wrong. Yes. Let me, do you want to read it? Uh, I'll have to look it up. Okay, John 17. Do, do, do. The okay. entire chapter. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, John 17, pretty much the whole chapter, right? It's a beautiful chapter. Do you well, feel like we need to read that, uh, 
Jamie or Minerva? I just wanted to say when we took communion, I felt us inside the yud hey vav hey. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. Jamie, would you, you feel like we, we need to read John 17 or a part of it? What are you getting on that? Um, yes, I'd like to, but I haven't found it yet. Sorry. Okay. I'm not very techy. I've got Bible Gateway open. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're pretty techy. More techy than I. I'm in John 17, if you want me to read it. Okay. What verse? Uh... Well, I'm sort of looking, I'm trying to figure out, I mean, there's so much of it. Um, I, I would, I would start at 17, 18, and then okay. just read it to the end. If you feel like you need to go back farther, that's fine. Okay. Can you hear me pretty well? Yes. Okay. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word that they all may be one as thou father art in me and i in thee that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me and the glory which thou gavest me i have given them that they may be one even as we are one, I and them and thou and me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Wow. Here, um, Go ahead. Back back at 17 and, and verse 18 um i think that's that's for me it's it's really key especially in verse 18 as thou has sent me into the world even so i have also sent them into the world we just landed we just landed on on land and he's sending one new man into the world so it's like it's like he's releasing us into the world Yes, I got, man. I got that picture too, Bucky. Yeah. I just, well, I just go ahead, honey. Um, shall we declare that? Absolutely. Yeah, which, which part, guys? What, what do you feel, which part, Jamie, are you sensing? Um, All of I'll it? leave that to Bucky, because I think he's got the best vision on that. Okay, Bucky. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Jane, you want to pass the bus. I'm going to bridge the map, get to believe it. <laughs> we'll let it slide this time, Jamie. <laughs> um, y'all, y'all, I, I stopped short. I've got to read two or three more verses, and I think, I think y'all, okay. I don't want to give you the, I don't want to give you the, pun, give away the punchline, but let's see right. these last, okay, I'm going to pick back up on verse 24. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, mm -hmm. that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Yeah. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, 
and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Oh! There Darn. Um. <laughs> Jennifer writes, boom, that's it, girl. Mm -hmm. Woo! Woo! Um, Gio, I, I had this thought as 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 he was reading, um, well, it's the first time it was read, um, as where it was saying that God has sent me, and even so, um Yeah. It thought about being sent, right? It was like the thought that had crossed my mind was that, you know, because we all existed before the foundation of the world um, with Father, right? Yeah. It, it was to me, it was to me like Father sent Christ from, from um, where he existed before the creation into the world. And it was like, it was like we were there as well. Yes. And so even as Christ was sent, then we were sent also. Yes. From, 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 from before um, the creation. Yes, that is yeah. so good. Uh -huh. Oh man, I am. Um, she said that I got the next verse from John chapter six. John chapter six. Chapter six. Yeah, I had. Yeah, I shared that one from John chapter six earlier. Yeah, I, I wrote it down. I just can't find it. Thirty nine. Okay. Yeah, uh, so 39 said, and this is the Father's will which has sent me, this is Jesus saying this, uh, that of all which he has given me, what he was sent with, I should lose nothing but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Wow. Powerful, powerful. <laughs> kind of sealed it right there. <laughs> yes, yes. Talk about destiny. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Amen. Yeah. Um, I, I have another different type of thought, so sorry. Okay, no, that's you good. Know, you know what? I, I looked at the last day as um, the day on the, on, on the cross. When, when, when he um, um, died on the cross. Yes. Like that, that being the last day. Um, and that everything that, that was done, even raising us up on that last day, happened there as well. So when he was raised, then we became raised up with him. Yes. So like, yeah, so instead of looking at the last day for um, the time that's going to come, I, I just sort of saw that last day. Um, Has come. Yeah, from Calvary. But, you know, it's probably dual. I think it's you know, both. Yes, I mean, yeah. I, I have learned that the Lord speaks in one big eternity circle. Yeah. And I think it goes back to uh, what was said earlier about so much more revelation on the same thing. So yes. yeah. we have new revelation now. Don't you guys yeah. feel it like just oozing out of your hearts and pores and oh my gosh. Um, now, getting back quickly to John uh, 17, Bucky, shall we, shall we, uh, okay, read, if you read it and we'll repeat after you. Oh, yeah, hang on Whichever. a second. Okay. Bye, Minerva. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yes, I'll be joining next time. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay, verse 17 and or verse 18. Wherever you feel, because you, you, you really felt like. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Um, it was actually verse 18. Okay. Um, As thou hast sent me into the world. As, As thou, thou hast sent, sent me into, into the, the world, world. Even so I have sent them into the world. Even, even though I have sent them into the world. 
I'm going to read 19 as well. And for their sakes. And for, they, and for their sakes. I sanctify myself. I sanctify myself. That they also might be sanctified. That they also might be sanctified. Through the truth. Through, through the truth. truth. You know, you guys, again, I mean, we know those were the words of Jesus, but I felt like this is something that we're declaring as well. I mean, and we actually did, but like I, I saw it in the, in the, like, back at Calvary that Doreen was talking about. And um, it's like, and the future and the presence. So, do we want to declare that last verse like Ann read a while ago? Uh, which, which also, one? Which 26, one? 17, 26. It says, and I have declared unto them thy name. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Um, and I have declared unto them thy name. And, and I have declared unto them thy name. And we'll declare it. And we'll declare it. We'll declare it. That the love wherewith. That the love that wherewith. The love wherewith thou hast loved me. Thou hast loved me. May be in them. May be in them. And I in them. And I in them. And I in them. Right, wow. Glory. Do you guys do you guys see yourself up above eternity, up above the timeline? Um, saying that along with the Lord back at Calvary, and do you see that in the eternal future and the eternal present? Did any of you feel that? I mean, I know we actually did speak it out, but something really powerful happened there in the spirit. Wow. Something's different. I just can't articulate it. It's just. Yeah, it's, it's hard to articulate. You got it. And you know, you guys, what is a, a crag? It's a lookout point. It's up above. I mean, it's other things too, but that's what struck me about where we landed. It's way up above and we're looking out. We have great vision from this vantage point. Yeah, um, because the word says that we will be seated with him in heavenly places. Shaba. So, yeah, so maybe that's, you know, we're looking from the heavenly place. Yes. Yeah. So do you guys feel like um, we need to do anything else or... You want to oh, wait a minute, or you feel like we're 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 done here? Be honest. I mean, I I have time. I just let me know what you're feeling, what you're sensing. I mean, we may be getting the eagle and the man and in a, another ascension, you know, uh, pick this up and go with the lion and the ox too. Or it could happen now. I, I, I'm just throwing that out to you guys. Well, you know, I was... Go ahead. So, well, before you mentioned those, I was getting ready to say... The eagle has landed with me. I'm finished. 
Yeah, I feel like we're finished. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna I was gonna say though that that um you know in recent times the Lord just has really been putting on my heart that that in in my I've been walking with him now for like twenty five years and and um uh, it's like he's shown me recently that he's taken me through each phase of the of the four faces you know the uh-huh. took me through a period of time where it was really concentrated on the lion and then he took me through a time where it was really concentrated on the eagle you know uh, yeah that sort of thing and then he's taken me through a time where i was really concentrated on on uh, the ox and the you know strength and that sort of thing and it's like now he as he was highlighting that to me he's telling me now is the time of the man it's we, we're moving into this you know without using words like dispensation it's like we're moving into a season the season yeah. where the man is going to be revealed oh and matured awesome. and matured mm. huh. mm-hmm. okay you guys anybody have anything else before i seal the ascension well i just I just am thankful for this ascension because I thought that I was such a unity, 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 unity person. A but unity freak. Like I've had, <laughs> I've had like, I mean, this is just really like pull the veil off for me to say, oh, it's so much more, so much more than. Yeah. Then fresh, what- fresh revelation on unity. Yeah, it's so much more than it was three hours ago, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> so much more than just a few relationships around me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Father, we seal this ascension and all things in it with the blood of Jesus. And, Father, I would like to um, to put these ascensions, this this particular ascension, into our each of our own personal mountains father and we thank you for the revelation for tonight and we look forward to for getting more and more on this subject father in jesus name amen amen amen